Hello, hello, hey, sweet people. Welcome to another episode of English no Kuru Haju. I am your co host. My name is Foster. I'm an American, a little innocent American boy trying to teach people English. And as always, I am here with Alexia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alexia. How are、Hi. you doing? I'm good. What about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm standing while we are recording because I've talked about this before on the show, but I've got a lot of back problems. So I'm trying to stand to get myself motivated. And then I started kind of being weird in the introduction. <laughs> We all love you, Foster. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> In the last episode, we talked about stage fright and we explained what stage fright is, how everyone pretty much gets nervous before anything. And in this episode, we're going to try to give some more practical tips. How does that sound to you, Alex? Yes, yes, please. Okay. First, I just wanted to start with a statistic, I suppose. I don't know if this is true, but I always hear this that people are more afraid of public speaking than of dying. So, in like surveys in a bunch of different countries in the world, you ask, What is your biggest fear? And public speaking is always before dying. Oh, well, I, I'm not in this survey at all. Yeah, but I think if you ask it the right way, like, what are your biggest fears? The fear of death? Like, that's not something you're thinking about every day, unless you are an existentialist like me. <laughs> but most people are like, oh my God, public speaking, male deus to sell. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I think about that, but I can understand the point. The point is, everyone suffers from getting anxious. So let's give them some tips, Alexia. Do you want me to start? Yes. Okay. Our first tip this is one that personally helps me a lot, and it is getting into your body. So there's this idea. And there's a lot of things about body language and signaling, and a lot of science behind it that I do not understand. But for me personally, before a big presentation or an interview, I go like into the nearest bathroom, I breathe deeply, and I squeeze my hands really tight and then let them go. Then I squeeze them again and let them go. And I can feel like the blood. In my arms, like start moving again, and it just calms me down. It calms down my nervous system. Does that sound like something that would be interesting for you? I, I, I think that before any presentation that I had to do, like I used to dance right in front of 500 people. And I didn't know it was that many people. Yes. Holy moly. Parents, families, friends from college. Yeah. I just from... didn't realize it was that、yes. big of a scale. Extremely big. And three nights by the end of the year. Okay. So every, every night that I had to go on and dance,、mm -hmm. right? I knew exactly where my parents would be sitting down.、Mm -hmm. And I knew exactly that if I needed, I could look at them and make myself realize again what I'm doing. You know, like if I felt lost or nervous or something like that. Yeah, you're just dancing in front of your mom. Yes. So, one thing that I like to do is that focus on something. That make you feel safe or comfortable enough to give that presentation. I think that's excellent advice. One quick correction focus on something that makes you feel comfortable. Yeah. 
So, for example, during college, I had my friends from my class and my professor. Sometimes I liked the professor, sometimes I didn't. So, if I liked the teacher, the professor, I would be okay. I can look at everyone for, to specific ones. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't like that person, uh, this would make the presentation even harder, right? Because I had to prove to him and myself that I am good enough for that subject. Right. And, and then I would focus, focus on someone that was really, really my friend mm -hmm. during that time. I love the idea of just, especially if you're speaking or performing in front of a big group, in front of a large audience, the idea of choosing one person, one individual, I think that there's a lot of power to that because then it's, it's not a big deal. It's just you and that other person. I think that's what we do. At least I do that on the podcast. I'm just here talking to you, even though there are thousands of people listening. Yeah. Oh my God. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> I like to a quick recommendation just to be very careful. The word focus we really want to exaggerate the O sound. Focus. Can you say that for me? Focus. Nice. A lot of Brazilians have the tendency to kind of eat that sound and say focus. And it, it gets pretty close to something you don't want to say. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent tip. Thank you, Alexia. Yeah. I like this tip as well. But... To prepare, like to be prepared only by myself before anything that is very important. For example, before going through customs in the United States, mm -hmm. it's always so hard for me. I would breathe like three times, very deep, close my eyes, and then I would go. Yeah. Yeah, I think there is something really important about getting back into your body, just remembering you have a body. This was another tip that I wanted to talk about. The idea of a power pose. or Like the Superman pose. Superman pose. It could be anything. But we recently saw this on the series Ted Lasso. No spoilers. No spoilers, but it is without a doubt the best show currently on television. If you disagree with that, yeah, try it. <laughs> come on. Come on the show and debate me. Best show on television. Love Ted Lasso. <laughs> but there is a scene where there's one, um, there's one younger kid that's very nervous, and then the CEO, the boss, is teaching him how to be more confident. And she says before a big meeting, she has like this lion pose where she's literally like, Rah! I don't go to that extreme, but I see the value in it. Yes. Yes. I think that if it works for you being in a room all by yourself and breathing or doing a power pose or I don't know, just screaming, go for it. Yeah. Would you like to scream right now? No. I don't know how to scream. You don't know how to scream. No. That's not true. I don't know how to scream. I heard you scream last night. No. Where? Doing what? <laughs> last night? Yes. You were watching TV, you and Buddy on the couch. I casually walked into the living room. You go, ah! Uh, because he's he's, so but that was an ice cream. <laughs> that was an For ice cream. For me, totally a scream. <laughs> Okay, last recommendation to Só help. Só para deixar bem claro, eu, eu, Buddy, tomamos um sushi com Foster. Não foi do nada. Eu Quer dizer, que... foi do nada, mas... <laughs> Enfim, the last tip. This also comes from Ted Lasso, but this is something that I personally use all the time, is start with a joke or start with something personal. So if you were giving a presentation... You can start with a joke, or you can say something personal. A joke, I think, sometimes is so cheesy. 
I don't think it needs joke, to be a joke. Yeah. But something to kind of break the ice. Like a lot of times in business school, I would just say something like, as you guys know, I'm not like, I don't love public speaking, so I'm super nervous. So be patient with me. And then people would smile and be like, you got this, Foster. So just saying something personal, maybe make people laugh or make people empathize with you. Sim. Como é que é o, o nome? Tanto em português quanto em inglês. To be more trans, transparent. 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 Yeah. Vulnerable. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Vulnerável. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. <laughs> Vulnerable. 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 Yeah, so we almost remove the middle sound completely, and you can just say vulnerable. Vulnerable. Okay, so repeat with me, Alexia. Vuln. Vuln. Ra. Ra. Bull. Bull. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Any other tips? No. I, I think I'll stick with transparent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thinking about this now, it's like, who are we to talk about dealing with stage fright? <laughs> okay, before we say anything we regret, that's a good place to stop for today. As always, keep up the good, good fight. And as well. Bye. <laughs>